have it. It is with deep regret. Oh, reg we'll now move on, and there's a condolence motion. So, it is with deep regret that I inform the Senate of the death on the 17th of July 2020 of Dominic John Foreman, a senator for the state of South Australia from 1981 to 1997. And I call the leader of the government in the Senate. Senator. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Madam Deputy President. Uh, I seek leave to move a motion relating to the death of former Senator Dominic John Foreman. I'm not sure you need leave. Yes, you do. Yes, leave is granted. I thank the Senate. I move that the Senate records its deep sorrow at the death on 17 July 2020 of Dominic John Foreman, former Senator for South Australia, places on record its gratitude for his service to the Parliament and the, uh, and the nation, uh, and tenders its profound sympathy to his family in their bereavement. Um, Madam Deputy President, Dominic Foreman came uh, into the Senate in October 1980 as a strong voice and dedicated advocate for workers' rights, uh, particularly those in the manufacturing industries. He was a true blue-collar worker who spent much of his early working life in the automotive industry, first as an apprentice on the factory floor and then as a union official. He rose through the ranks of the Vehicle Builders Employees Federation of Australia to eventually serve as its president. Like so many on the other side of this chamber, Dominic worked within the trade union movement for many years before entering politics. He will be remembered for his dedication and passion for the automotive industry, his long and distinguished service to both the trade union movement and the Australian Labor Party, and his commitment to those he represented, the people of South Australia. Born on 6 August 1933 to George and Gertrude Foreman in the mid-north country town of Clare in South Australia, Dominic Foreman grew up on the family's vineyard as one of six children. Leaving school at 13, Dominic spent two years working in the family cafe on the main street of Clare before moving to Adelaide to work for white goods manufacturer Simpsons. In 1954, he joined General Motors Holden, working as a welder on an assembly line at both the Woodville and Elizabeth plants. After a year with General Motors Holden, Dominic Foreman joined the Vehicles Builders Employees Federation, becoming a shop steward. He spent the next 15 years working through the ranks of the Vehicle Builders Employees Federation, serving as both uh, its State Secretary and eventually in 1979 be becoming its Australian President. During his service uh, as the Australian President of the Vehicle Builders Employees Federation, Dominic Foreman also served as President of the South Australian Trades and Labor Council and as State President of the ALP in South Australia. Clearly a very busy period uh, in uh, Dominic Foreman's life. But he still wanted to do more for his state, specifically for those working in the automotive industry. Less than 12 months later, he would get his opportunity. In 1980, uh, then Senator Rich Bishop, a former minister in the Whitlam government, indicated his intention to retire. And with the support of his close friend and federal member for Port Adelaide, Mick Young, Dominic Foreman contested the Senate pre-selection, securing first position on the ILP Senate ticket. A feat within itself for a first-time Senate candidate. He was elected on the first count and remained a strong, in a strong position on the ILP ticket in South Australia and subsequent elections in 1983, 1987 and 1993. In his first speech, he highlighted the importance of the car industry in Australia, especially in his home state of South Australia. Dominic Foreman was passionate about workers' rights, industrial relations and upskilling Australia's youth to prevent unemployment. He was especially vocal in relation to the needs of young people in rural areas, recognising how important it is for young Australians to get a decent education. During his parliamentary service, Dominic Foreman retained his strong commitment to the automotive industry and to representing the rights of young workers. Uh, he ensured that he was always there as a strong voice whenever there was a motor industry issue on the table. It is also important to note and reflect on his long and distinguished service to the Australian Labor Party. Uh, Dominic Foreman joined the ILP in South Australia in uh, the early 1950s. He served on Labor State Executive in South Australia from 1975 to 1981 
and in 1979, as I mentioned, was elected state president, serving for one year before entering this chamber as a senator for South Australia. By all accounts, uh, even after leaving uh, the Senate in 1997, he remained a vocal supporter and a committed member of the Australian Labor Party. During his 16 years in Parliament, Dominic Foreman served on a number of Senate committees, but he was probably best remembered for his service in the Senate as both a government and opposition deputy whip. For over a decade, he served as a deputy whip, a role he thoroughly enjoyed and in which he performed extremely well. In 1997, Dominic Foreman was forced to retire from Parliament due to ill health. It is clear that he was highly regarded, trusted and respected uh, on both sides of politics. He was reliable and served this Parliament with loyalty, devotion and integrity. Family was important to Dominic Foreman, like it is uh, to all of us here. He was a loved and cherished father, grandfather and great-grandfather. It is to his family on behalf of the Australian Government and the Senate that I offer our deepest condolences. Dominic Foreman will be remembered for his long service to the Australian Labor Party, his commitment and love of the automotive industry and his dedication to serving the interests of Australian workers and their families. Thank you, Senator Cormann. Senator Farrell. Uh, thank you, uh, Deputy Chair, and I thank uh, Senator Wong for allowing me to start the um, contribution of the Labor Party to uh, former Senator uh, Dominic uh, Foreman. Uh, Dominic uh, John Foreman died on the 17th of July 2020. Achieving that status as a Senate, Dominic was possibly one of the last of the blue-collar workers who toiled his way up through the trade union movement to be a shop steward, an organiser and secretary of the uh, Vehicle Builders Employees Federation of Australia. <coughs> being uh, almost uh, one of the last of the blue-collar workers to represent Labor in either House of the Federal Parliament or even in the House uh, of the State Parliament. Uh, Dominic John Foreman was born in Clare on the 6th of August 1933. Uh, he had one brother and four sisters. As a young man, Dominic worked in the family restaurant in Clare but he was eventually educated in uh, Ross Trevor College, uh, which was uh, a considerable expense uh, for his family at that time. However, Dominic <coughs> was grateful for this. Um, Dominic went on to work as a welder. He worked at uh, General Motors Holden uh, and at the old Woodville plant that uh, has uh, long since uh, gone. <coughs> now a bunning store, if I'm uh, correct. Uh, Dominic uh, became a member of the Vehicle Builders Employees Federation and was an active trade unionist, being a shop steward. He represented the union uh, to the membership and slowly but surely worked his way up through the trade union movement. Um, it was during this period, uh, 1976, when I first met uh, Dominic. Um, I was a young trade unionist myself. Uh, and uh, we would meet uh, after meetings of the uh, Trades and Labor Council in the basement of the uh, old uh, Trades Hall in South Terrace. Uh, my first recollection of uh, Dominic was of a quiet and humble man, and that recollection uh, never changed uh, throughout all the years that I uh, knew him subsequent to that. Uh, eventually he was an organiser with the VBEF, and uh, from that time became the state secretary of that organisation. He was a lifelong trade unionist uh, and through that became an active member of the Australian Labor Party. He made friends with a large number of other trade unionists, uh, but mainly uh, blue collar originated ones uh, of that particular gener generation. Uh, one of which was uh, the late Mick Young <coughs> and Dominic always was seen as part of uh, Mick's gang, and the two were inseparable until Mick's death in uh, 1996. Uh, <coughs> Dominic was convinced by Mick uh, that he should seek a parliamentary career and was seriously considering the seat of Benython, which was going to be vacated by the then member Martin Nichols in 1977. <coughs> However, uh, Mick Young prevailed upon Dominic to put his plans on hold uh, so that then Professor of uh, Flinders University, uh, 
Newell Blewett uh, could take the seat. Uh, Blewett was seen as a prize catch for the Labor Party and he would go on to be the architect of uh, Medicare and other things within the uh, Labor Party. Dominic was happy to stand aside in the interest of the Labor Party and the Labor movement as a whole. Uh, he eventually was pre-selected, number one, on the uh, ticket for the 1980 federal election to be a senator for South Australia and was duly elected, although he didn't take up his seat until July of 1981. <coughs> he would then go on to be a federal senator until 1997. Uh, Dominic resigned his position in 1997 when the Labor Party uh, pre-selected John Quirk to fill the vacancy. Quirk was then a uh, state member of the South Australian uh, Parliament and previously had worked for Dominic as a staffer and a speechwriter. In the Senate, uh, Dominic held a number of positions, including Chairman of the Joint Standing Committee on Public Works, the Senate Infrastructure Committee and other committee positions. Dominic was a very good committee performer and many projects in Australia would go through that rapid scrutiny and reporting process under his watchful eye. Dominic was married to uh, Maggie and uh, they had two, two children, Luke and Lindy, and in turn Luke and Lindy would provide many grandchildren and now great-grandchildren, -grand all of whom uh, mourn the passing of Dominic. Uh, Dominic would marry Shirley in 1986 and they had a happy life together until Shirley's passing in April uh, uh, 2007. Dominic's parliamentary uh, career <coughs> was not without its ups and downs. There was a serious attempt to de-preselect him in 1992 and give the seat to another sitting senator. The problem for the Labor Party was that in the next election during 1993, there were three sitting senators uh, with the prospect of only uh, returning to, to Canberra. Dominic uh, faced the combined opposition of certain sections of the ALP, uh, the then uh, South Australian Premier John Bannon, uh, former Premier Don Dunstan and others who were friendly to the other particular senator who was seeking to replace uh, Dominic up the ticket. <coughs> On the 2nd of February 1992, Dominic Foreman stared down the opposition and won the ballot uh, three to one and would go on to serve in the Senate until 1997. Dominic was a lifelong fan of Australian rules football. Uh, he played uh, with that great South Australian team, uh, West Adelaide, which I'm also a uh, <coughs> member, and he would have gone on to play uh, serious uh, league football because <coughs> it was in my uh, uncle's uh, generation at uh, Joe Hepton's stall <coughs> at West Adelaide. Uh, but was concerned that if he was injured and then his young family would have to uh, survive without a, a breadwinner. <coughs> However, uh, this did not stop uh, Dominic from uh, being a strong supporter of Westies uh, through thick and thin uh, and through the many years, in fact I should say the very many years that they were in the, uh, in the wilderness. Um, <coughs> one of his uh, Port Adelaide supporters makes this claim about him, which I have been unable to verify, but which I'll, uh, I'll repeat. Um, they say he was initial, an initial supporter of the Adelaide Crows, but he changed his allegiance to Port Power because he believed it represented more of his trade, uh, trade union working class origins. Um, I don't personally believe that myself, but I'm told, I'm told this is true. <coughs> Um, the passing of Dominic represents almost the end of the blue-collar era within the Australian Labor Party. Dominic went from the tools on the floor through various levels of the trade union movement into Parliament to represent working people of South Australia. He will be sadly missed. Thank you, Senator Farrell. <coughs> I ask honourable senators to join in a moment's silence to signify assent to the motion. The motion is now carried. <coughs> 